The LEO project needed to fill all three hill slopes with just the right soil, so then they could track how it evolves chemically and organically when they add water and then life. The soil had to come from rock that had almost no organic content. They found the right rock, a volcanic tephra, in Flagstaff, Arizona, at a quarry owned and operated by Miller Mining Incorporated. We're standing here in northern Arizona at Miller Mining uh, at our black cinder production plant uh, where we produce black cinder for the purposes of block plant and lightweight aggregates as well as um, a few interesting products such as the Biosphere who have worked with the University of Texas. My name is Robert Miller uh, of Miller Mining. I've been in the mining business pretty much all my life. Um, my grandpa was a miner, my dad was a miner. I first met with the Biosphere on, some, on a project that they were interested in to produce a what I understood was a finely graded cinder type product. Once we found out that there was a vein of product um, that could be uh, suitable for, for what the biosphere was looking for, Steve DeLong actually was the one who came out and picked the specific area. Once we located that particular vein, we'll call it, this is 20 foot section of material, um, we started brainstorming how to make it. There was already um, something in order that researchers and, and their team had had decided uh, would make the product down to the grind that was fine enough for the research project. We had an idea that we could try to produce it with a machine that you see running behind me here. And uh, long story short, it ended up working. But there was a two-part process for production. Um, Typically, you crush it down to a 3 8 product at the largest size. In the case of the Biosphere, they requested a number 8 minus, which is a, roughly an eighth of an inch and smaller. Very difficult to process. Now keep in mind, the crusher that we use is not a scientific crusher. It's made for crushing rock to 3 8 of an inch. What we found is in each phase of the Biosphere project, we had to test it multiple times to get the correct consistency. Now, now after we've finished that first part of the process, the material has to be wet or it blows away within weeks of being produced. Then we had to grind it more to make it a, a fine enough product that would meet the, the specs that were requested for the LEO project. The machine is set up in a way that there's one conveyor belt that will run in reverse to exit the product from the system. Once that product exits the system, it goes out into a stockpile and it's stored there until we have enough to ship. The product is ready to ship at that point. The biggest thing at that point is keeping the material uh, filled with moisture so that it doesn't blow away. The biosphere is very um, interested in keeping the, part, the smaller particulates in the material. The fines have to stay. So it's in our interest and theirs that we ship it immediately after it comes off the belt to ensure quality control. You know, they say you moved to Arizona and it's a, it's a dry climate and everybody thinks of all the, the, the cow skulls and here we have a ski resort up on the top of the mountain and mining season in the summer, skiing in the winter. Beautiful up here.